get out of here, Discord. I don't need you right now. Yes, phone, whatever you say. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. I remembered the F4 button this time. <laughs> Hello, Raviolin. Hey, look at that. Toriel's alive this time. <laughs> I did. I finished genocide um, a couple weeks ago. And we are now doing a post-genocide pacifist run. And we just got to Snowden. Hooray. Which is good, because I'm, like, out of healing items. <laughs> I'm gonna put the snowman piece away. I probably should have bought more uh, nice cream from that guy, but eh, he'll show up again. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Care to chat? Hiya! Welcome to Snowden! I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. Thank you for the sub. Thirty-two bit kid. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, for some reason, my brain was not processing like who actually did that. <laughs> I was just like looking at your name and just blank. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, for the resub. Welcome, welcome. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. And thank you for the bits! Yay, bits! Bitty bits! Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Hmm. We do know a ghost, and we do know somebody who, somebody who can burrow under things. Namely, Flowey. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Take your time. Oh wait, right. If I sell stuff... Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Actual bits. Real, actual, honest-to-goodness... Bits. Um, well, that weapon does not give me any more attack. Plus, I mean, I don't even really need weapons. Well, I kind of do. Actually, I think there's some there's some fights where I do actually have to fight. Mandana. It has abs on it. I will buy the mandana. Right, I think I already have the tough glove, actually. Yeah, I picked that, that was in the chest, wasn't it? Thanks for your purchase. We'll get some bicycles. And a cinnamon bun or two.
Bye now. Come again sometime. Let's put the faded ribbon in the box. Zip time. Oh my god, I gotta go get a drink. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> water thingy. I just bought this thing recently. I like it. Because I realized I don't, I, didn't ha I don't have like a dedicated like water container dealy. I used to, but um, I had to get rid of it because it was getting gross. Um, so this is my new one. I like it. It goes clicky. <laughs> it splashes water everywhere. <laughs> water goes down the wrong pipe because <coughs> I'm a functioning adult all right <coughs> now that the water has stopped trying to kill me more or less um, right what we're we doing um, stuff yeah smooth <coughs> smooth <laughs> What would always happen, and like would completely piss me off, like when I was younger and I would like drink water or whatever at like the dinner table, and then I start coughing, and like someone at the dinner table would be like, "Drink water!" <laughs> like I just did. That is what caused this problem. Drinking more water is not going to solve the issue. Mom says that sleeping can the sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Snore determination. <laughs> Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the Undersnow Tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there? Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> bun 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 bun. Awful teens tormented the local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Guess it was a good thing those teens tormented that monster? I think I figured it out. No, never mind. <laughs> the 
It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Monster Kid! Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Politics. Hey, Grillby's properly uh, occupied this time. <laughs> no matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and, and hot guys. I guess the bartender's kind of hot. Isn't human food different from monster food? It just seems like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> and I've heard they have things called bathrooms. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Yeah, bring them on. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I want to be like Undyne when I grow up, too. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. I guess I could ask out on Dine, but I think she likes someone already. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> Dog. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> Jukebox is broken. Grilb says that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Smile, smile. <laughs> ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You weren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Play monsters and humans. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. <laughs> That's where the river person would be, but we don't see them until later, I think. Yeet. The library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? <laughs> but 
I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they're, they're made of, mo of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Wait. Okay. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Oh, you know what I want to do? I've realized there's something I've actually never done in this game before. And I want to do that this time. And that is, um, lose to Papyrus. Because I think you get a special scene if you do that. Again, I could have used the, this thing. Why do I- oh, I always forget this thing is here. I never use it. <laughs> Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Twenty defense twenty. He likes to say yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna intentionally.
eventually get my ass kicked. Oh, the, the, the thing actually did increase my max HP. That's cool. Papyrus whispers, yeah. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Papyrus is rattling his bones. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. <laughs> I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility! It reminds me of... myself! You're meeting all my standards! Let's date later, after I capture you! Dang, my, uh... My, um, iframes are pretty hefty. Pyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. to think about what to cook for his date. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus. There we go. <laughs> Papyrus stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Stabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you! I will now send you to the capture zone! Or, as Sans calls it, our garage? You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> cool. <laughs> Interesting, there's a little brief uh, blip of Asgore's voice in there. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Definitely yours, Papyrus. <laughs> Squeaky chew toy. Too small to sleep on. Doop de doo. <laughs> oh, okay. I can back at full health. <laughs> well, that was fun. that you wouldn't have gone. Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second, you're not supposed to escape. Get back there. <laughs> oh, interesting. We're going straight into Bone Trousel, his, his boss theme, and, and the blue, uh, blue heart, even though I, we didn't actually do that last time. Fun. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. I 
can almost taste my future popularity. Boing. Oh, pff, damn it. <laughs> you got me. Good job. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Papyrus, unparalleled spagatore. Oh, this is... Oh, it's so cute. They're like baby versions of Sans' attacks. <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Undyingly really proud of me. Oops. <laughs> Jumped the gun on that one. The Pyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. The Pyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. The king will turn a hedge in the shape of my smile. Stabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. <laughs> you eat one half of the bicycle. You have at 11 HP. My brother will. Well, he won't change very much. The pirate stabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers, but. He doesn't, he doesn't have ears. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Damn it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you miss that Someone like you is really rare. Might be kind of hard. Oops. Pyrus remembered a remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. After you're captured and sent away. Face my special attack. I'm so used to like having to react really quickly in the Sans fight that like taking my time and waiting is like unnatural to me now. The Sans fight has ruined me. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! Not too long and I will use that special attack! Oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> I am bad at this! This is your last chance before my special attack! Oh my god. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? 
stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Shit. Oh my god. still hurt me. Because I'm bad at this game. It's okay. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Oh, how kind. You! <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. <laughs> Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Thanks, I think I will. With my three hit points. <laughs> Bicycles, please. Again, why didn't I use the tunnel? <laughs> what is wrong with me? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. 
It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. 20G, hell yeah. It's a saggy old couch. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Oops. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It's a box of bones. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. It's okay to be intimidated by my fashion sense. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Complex manuals and children's books. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> Appropriate that uh, it's got a Jolly Roger when um, my partner and I have decided he's Murray. <laughs> it's a beat up pirate flag. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for, for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Action figures of many sexy robots. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Okay! Dating start! Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I stacked an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time! Let's see. 
Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating H-U-D. <laughs> Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. R really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing! No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Uh... No? Oh no! Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days! Was your interest in me... Predestined? N no! Your dating power! Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further! Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen! Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hands will tell you the answer. No, I must resist! shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles, articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present just for you! Do you know what this is? Hey, Ogre Stolo! Yeah, that's right! You have no idea! Though this appears to be spaghetti, this ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, 
that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah! Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah! <laughs> yes. First date complete. Sort of. Oh. Oops, I forgot to go in the kitchen. <laughs> There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. The sink is so tall you can't even wash your hands. Half of the fridge is filled with containers labeled all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. You visited the trash can. Yes, it was. <laughs> huh. Excuse me. Um. Odin, home of, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? I'm petitioning to change the slogan. Alright, now we can move on. Sort of. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. <laughs> Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. <laughs> Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready when you are. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Mm. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Mm. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Mm. And what a real beast. Wanna come? Heck yeah. Mm. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. That shortcut, huh? Hey everyone. Hey Sans. Hi Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya Sansy. Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. We must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Dan Light once said I was gonna eat my soul. Yep. 
you know, happen to us all. <laughs> Berg. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real people have a double order of Berg. So, what do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You don't want to take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You could have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree the pirates tries real hard. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Uh-oh. Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. <gasps> They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, what about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Hmm. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No, just kidding. Really, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Mm, ketchup burger. Grobe says that your food is probably cold by now. Sans is his entry, but don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around on the floors reading car magazines. Sans is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently though. Huh? Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. True, he does do that. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds the scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper. Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of incredible foods. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. sweet guy. Just, you know, don't piss him off.
This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Let's hang out again sometime. Oops. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. It's really a box hater. Swore I saw something behind that rushing water. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Undyne, I'm here with my daily report, uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. <laughs> Tutanium. <laughs> huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. Whoa, wingdings, chat. <laughs> what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. scary <laughs> yo did you see the way she was staring at you that was awesome I'm so jealous what'd you do to get her attention <laughs> come on let's go watch her beat up some bad guys not everyone is shouting only sand all right I'm with only papyrus <laughs> Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Flexes in. Sup, bro? This seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Shoot. You tell Aaron to go away. Feisty, huh? Aaron is flashing you playfully. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. 
flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nah. <laughs> ah, here come here comes the Undertale community. <laughs> nice. I won't lose though. Flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Woohoo! If an error is made, the bell ball blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Okay, I gotta remember how to do this. Hey! Thank you for the follow. <laughs> right, there was a way to get over here. Kill me here for the memes, that's valid. <laughs> Yay! I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Mm, quiche. Just a bench. Yeah. Um, catch up. <laughs> and then, of course, let's intentionally fail the puzzle because we have to, because it's funny. Oh, wait. Um, gotta do it from. Oh, from here. Also, how did he sweat? <laughs> Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. Yes, magic, exactly. All right, now we can go, let's see, remind myself how to do this. Uh, oh, it's from here, I think. behind that waterfall. Ring! Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Uh, no? <laughs> so you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day! A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. You hoped with all your heart your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Oh god, like, played the genocide run 600 times in a row? <laughs> Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Good lord. <laughs> that is a lot of uh, times playing this game. Washua shuffles up. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Tweet. Out! Darn spot! Ow. Ow. I'm bad at this. Washing was rinsing off a pizza. You reach out. Washing recoils from your touch. Yuck! Washing 
actually was looking for some good green fun. You tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Watch West Tower's neutralized. No! That joke's too dirty! Ow! Damn it. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Shit. No, oh, come back! Ow! Damn it. Washua's friends with a little bird. Get back here. Nope. There we go. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Check wall. Since my horoscope is the same as last week's. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed, they had th it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable, unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. <laughs> Can I put Pyrus on a do not call list? Why would we want to do that? so well. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. And you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Squeak. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. It's an odd-looking telescope. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. That's about it. <laughs> huh? You weren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Put the key 
push away for now, too. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream! It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Sure. Super! Here you go! Your card's in the box. contains one card. Let's see, actually. Wait. Hold on, wait, what? Two bugs in the box are playing a three-card game. All games must end one day. Oh, that's what I thought. I've never actually done this before. I've never um, actually bought enough nice creams to... Uh... And then now I have too much stuff. Hey, you have three punch cards! How about redeem redeeming them for some ice cream? It's free! Here, a free ice cream! Sweet! Possibly a waste of money, but that's eh, alright. the bird we hear a passing conversation so don't you have any wishes to make hmm just one but it's kind of stupid small. Can I still despair them? Yes, I can. It's a pair of ballet shoes. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Rooms. Is there a way? Remind me. I feel like there's a way to get to that little area. Like this little area down here. There's gotta be, right? There's gotta be a way to get over there, and I do not remember how. like a secret passage somewhere that I've completely forgotten about. Someone who uh, who knows this game better than I do. <laughs> Tell me how to get over there. I was puzzling over that the last time I, I went through this area and I could not figure it out.
God, why am I bad at this? Oh my God, they're too, they're too fast. Friggin' oh God. <laughs> Watch the wonders of tears are sanitary. There we go. Ow, and I died. <laughs> Fantastic. That's an embarrassing death. <laughs> Dang it, now I gotta do that nice cream thing all over again. That's okay. I wonder what happens if there's like more than, if there's like a lot of cards in there. Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream hidden in the depths of the watery cavern. Bicycle back. Put the nice creams in there. I should have used some of them when I was getting my ass kicked by, by Washua. <laughs> Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a dusty tutu. So of course I actually told her you were indeed wearing a dusty tutu. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. <laughs> Washua and Aaron. Oh boy, alright. Whew, I'm sweating. Oh. There we go. It smells like a muscle farm. No need for a swimming suit. Wow, that was like a lot easier to take care of Washington that time. 
Aaron is sweating bullets, literally. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. There we go. power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Ah, hello. Hello, tentacle creature. Onion-chan. Hey, there. I noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san! Onion-san, you hear? Onion-san? Sorry. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey that's okay! It beats moving out- it's, it beats moving to the city! And living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. And that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! There's Shiren. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Toot. No. <laughs> Shiren pretends to be a pop idol. You smile. You have to see Sh Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Hum hum. Shiren thinks about doing karaoke by herself. You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Shiren's is much more comfortable singing along. Aww, Shiren's so cute. The northern room hides a great treasure. It sure does. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. 
statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. You took an umbrella. You placed the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. There's a piano here. Huh. Oh. Did I, was I, I think I was just doing it wrong when I was, I tried to do that on the uh, genocide route. And I think, I was like, oh, the piano doesn't play, but I think I was just doing it wrong, maybe. <laughs> it's a legendary artifact. You're carrying too many dogs. <laughs> Annoying dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. The reading is coming from inside your inventory. <laughs> hmm. There's something annoying about this room. <laughs> you deploy the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> The artifact is gone. Dog residue. Glowing crystals secreted by a dog. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Man, Undyne is so cool! She beats up bad guys and never loses! If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night! Knowing she was gonna beat me up! <laughs> So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers! Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt, to ever hurt an innocent person. Ah, so cool. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Yo, you aren't going to be able to climb with, with an umbrella. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Man. 
God, the genocide moment on uh, or the, the genocide version of that moment where you just like step on his face <laughs> and don't give a shit. <laughs> Serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Oops. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Papaya, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Garbage. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Unfortunately, I can't have any. I could drop the tough glove. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. A trash heap. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? <laughs> you tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. <laughs> You've had enough of the dummy. Right. <laughs> Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. 
When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Bad dummy who has a great theme song. Defense, yes. <laughs> because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Futile, futile, futile! Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! That dummy is looking nervous. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Mad Dummy is hopping mad. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store! Oops. Then everything I want will be mine! Oh, here's another character who's shouting all the time. Hey, back over there. Mad Dummy's getting caught all over the dialogue box. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. What was her name again? Whatever, whatever, whatever! Feeble, feeble! No, don't aim in that direction. Based fight. <laughs> pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! There we go. Hey guys! Oh god. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical whirrs fill the room. Dummy bots! Magic missile! Ow. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. You're super spiffy! Dummy bots, try again! Aw, oh, man. Dummy bots, you're awful! Dummy bots, final attack! Ow. 
Oh god. Ow. <laughs> oh wow, that was garbage. <laughs> no way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever. Forever! Forever! <laughs> what? what the heck is this? Urgh! Acid rain! Oh, forget it! I'm out of here! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Oh, Blooky. Well, now I can take the Space Queen bar. And then... Love yourself. I love you. Yay, astronaut food. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. I forgot how much fun the dummy fight is. <laughs> but also kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> this little bird wants to carry you across. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to... Well, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go all the way back, I think, but... I forget if... Is there a shortcut to the other side? We, we can't say no to the little bird. He has the best theme song. Okay, good, yeah. Oh, I was thinking I wanted to go back to the box, but it doesn't matter because I the box is full too. <laughs> Damn you, too much ice cream. It's okay, I'll fix that problem when I get to Temmie. Sell at least some of my stuff. What? 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 It's a living. <laughs> doesn't seem like anyone's home. Undyne has the best house. North, Fluke Acres, East, Hotland. Question mark? Temmie Village. It's locked. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay. Follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. Huh. 
That's some good floor lion. Some good feeling like garbage. <laughs> uh oh, I don't feel like garbage. Am I doing it wrong? Mm. Staring into the cosmos. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix TV. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. This TV is labeled Spook Tunes. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Spook wave. Dang, that ambiance. It's like my whole body's being spooked. Ghoul the day music. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. <laughs> Stop snooping. If I remember correctly, there was like a special encounter you can get with Aaron if, if that if this song is playing. I'm not sure if I can get it to happen. No, oh, well. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean Welcome to Brook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Really, I'm working. I don't want the boss to get mad at me. Especially since I'm my own boss. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snaileth Sam be wool. Good gosh, don't I look like a perfectly normal snail? I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? I think it, it is possible to win this game, uh, but it's not worth it. <laughs> and I don't know how to do it properly. Race end! Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh.
And then, yes, you can, of course, over-encourage your snail. <laughs> Spook wave back on. There's Aaron. <laughs> what the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way. Shiren is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear! Forget it. This beat is too... filthy. Wash! Wait! Don't leave me! Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Please! Stop! I'll never creep again! <laughs> Aw, I'm sorry, Aaron. Here we go. Right, yes. I have... No room in my box. Oh, there! I've got some neat junk for sale! Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it! Though I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Don't be shy now. Anything you want to know? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rule, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans! That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes uh, something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. The legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking the bleaker, take, are taking the bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the Angel of Death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> What's that? You want me to repeat myself? Heck no! Your eyes still work. Go read a book or something. <laughs> King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Hey, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. For grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone... Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> what are you looking for? Yeah, invincible longer. I will come back and buy more stuff later, actually. Be careful out there, kid! I want to have more room. <laughs> There's the river person's station. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. 
This cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Alright, perfect. We're heading to, to Temi Village. And that'll be a good place to stop. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you! <laughs> there she is! <laughs> Temi rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic! <laughs> Temi speaks internet. <laughs> Timmy accidentally misspells her own name. <laughs> you flex it, Timmy. No! Muscles are not cute! Timmy, are you okay? No! Hi? <laughs> no, Aaron. Favorite place in the game. <laughs> Hoi! Welcome to Tim Village! Rich history of Tim. Hoi! I'm Timmy! And this is my friend, Timmy! Hoi! I'm Timmy! And this is my friend, Timmy! Hoi! I'm Timmy! Don't forget my friend! Hi, I'm Bob. Hoi, you should check out Tim Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tim Shop. Ah, humans, such a cute. Statue of Tim, very famous. Very. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. It's hard boiled. <laughs> Feeling of being watched. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment. Trapped here by my haifei. My struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. <laughs> if only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? <laughs> Distressing mushroom. Tim heard human allergics to Tem. That okay. Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. Hives! <laughs> it's like my favorite joke in the game. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Um, on that note, we'll stop there. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> All right, we'll visit Tim's shop next time, and I will probably do a little bit of the dog residue um, exploit, <laughs> just for fun. Uh, okay. Well, let's, uh, I will call that quits for now. And, uh, yeah, we'll do more Undertale next week, and, um... Yeah, that's the plan. Um, more Evil Within 2 on Tuesday and more Undertale on Wednesday. Let's see. Who's around that I can stream? Um, sorry, that I can raid. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, cool. 
Atari Beer Pong is playing um, one of the Star Trek uh, adventure games. I think I, I, I have to I have to raid him. I haven't raided Atari Beer Pong in a while. Oh, it looks like he's doing it. He's he's on a break right now, but I'm gonna raid him anyway. Uh, yeah. We'll do that. I should probably play some of the Star Trek adventure games. I've actually been watching Star Trek. Like, I never actually watched it that much when I was, when it was, like, on TV. But, um, my partner and I have been going through, like, pretty much the whole Next Generation series. And we're going to go, uh, move on to DS9 and and such. And I'm really enjoying it. Oh, good. Atari Deer Pong's back from break, I think. So, let's, uh, let's raid him. So thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next week. Thank you. Have a good time. And have a good night. And have a good week and weekend and all that good stuff.